die in the kingdom. Now in the book of Matthew chapter 22. Or are it to me more like 34 so that we can understand. They say, but when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees. In other words, they were trying to impose questions and they wanted to know deeply. They were speaking to Jesus deeply about what he's doing and what was happening with him. They gathered together. Then one of them, a lawyer, asked him, asking Jesus a question, test, saying, testing him. And saying, teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? The Bible said they were testing. And then in verse 37, Jesus said to him, the first law is, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Can I repeat it? Love your God with all your heart. That's one. With all your soul, too. And with all your mind. And he went on and said, This is the first great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Hallelujah. Now when you are in the kingdom, there are laws, commands, bylaws that you have to adhere to and follow them. The Bible says, love the Lord with all your heart. It means when you are not in the house of God, when you are supposed to be in the house of God, you feel or you hear that something is missing. Because your heart always is in the house of God. With all your soul, in other words, with all your being, from head to toes, you must love God. Everything that you do must be according to the commandments of God. You love God with everything that you have. I get it? And the Bible says again, with all your mind, I am inside the kingdom and I am doing the laws of the kingdom. I am walking according to the kingdom. I am doing everything that I'm doing pertaining the word that has been written according to the kingdom of God, the kingdom that I am living in. Now when you are living in this kingdom, the Bible commands you to love God will with everything that you have. Another one that is like it is love your neighbor as you love yourself. Mm -hmm. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Now the Bible is telling us children of God we love God and we must love one another. When we can start to love one another, the church of God is going to grow and grow and grow. Why? Because we love each other. The pain of another is your pain. The problem of another is your problem. Not that you will answer each and every problem, but you feel what your neighbor is feeling. That is the love that God wants us to have. Okay, the Bible says when Jesus was telling them, it's because they were testing him. They wanted to know if he knows the laws of Moses and everything that they knew from far back. And they found out that this man knows the laws of the kingdom. When you are in the kingdom, you live according to the laws of the kingdom. And when you start living according to the laws of the kingdom, my Bible says everything will follow you. Everything will search for you. Everything will come and say we are searching for Eunice Makananisa. We heard she stays here. 
Believe you me. When God starts to bless you, your blessing will never be the same with the blessing of that one or that was blessed five years ago. Why? Because you've been staying in the kingdom. You've been waiting in the kingdom. You've been praying and saying, God, I am still here and I'm not going to move an inch until you bless me. When you are in the house of the Lord, Banababab, this is my word to you. Stay until God does something in your life. God is never late. Oh. He is never late. He is just counting days and time. Now he start by counting your steps and the way you do things. Then when he sees the time is right, then he blesses you. When you are faithful to God, God said he will bless you when you go in. Bless you when you go out. Bless you in your fields. Bless you in your stocks. Bless you in your flocks. And bless you also with your children. 